Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is the third episode of Node.js series. In the first uh, uh, two episodes, we looked at what Node.js is and how to install it on your computer. And in uh, this video, we are going to learn how to run Node.js. Now, there are multiple ways to, to run it, and we're going to look at it um, all. And also, we're going to look at how to run it continuously. So if you change a file and you want to run it automatically whenever uh, you change the file. Also, in the next tutorial, of this series, we are going to uh, look at globals and I'm planning to release both together. So check them out. Uh, I'll have a link at the end of this video. And as I say, I'm planning to uh, release these videos more often. So please uh, bookmark the entire series and welcome to TechSeed Tutorials. To, uh, before you start um, running Node, you make sure you already have it installed and uh, check the version uh, so which is very important okay if you have multiple versions install make sure which version you're running so if I if I go to my terminal and simply type uh, node uh, dash V uh, right now it's showing that I'm using version 10.15.0 and then I would simply type node um, and then this arrow shows up which means I am now in the node ripple environment uh, ripple means R E P L read eval print loop. Uh, uh, it's it's a, like a playground where you can run stuff, um, try things out. That's why it's called read eval print and loop. So here I'm going to create a variable. Uh, let x equal to one. Uh, and when I enter, well, it simply prints undefined because it's expecting some. Um, console log so uh, don't worry about it and now if I just uh, type X again and enter it would show me the value of X that uh, previously so it's a continuity of what whatever you uh, have written previously so if I print X again it remembers that I have defined uh, X equal to 1 and it would print that again if I do let Y equal to 2 and print Y it would say 2 I can do x plus y and it would print 3. If I try to redefine x again, as I said, it would give me an error. It says x is already declared. Okay, so this is how you can actually um, try out your, uh, some node code here directly. Now to get out of it, there are multiple ways to do it. Either you would do first control C and again control C uh, twice and then you are uh, back to your terminal um, so again if you try, type node you go in this ripple mode and uh, to get out of it you would have to do control C twice or you can do dot exit so if you do node and then dot exit and that would also um, let you exit or if you do get in the node again and uh, process um, we're going to look at this uh, process variable later on uh, in the next video, but uh, it has a method called exit. So you can also exit using that as well. So there are three ways to do it. All right. So the next way of running your node would be uh, more practically, which would be uh, from a file. So you need to create a file and write some code inside and run uh, from there. So for that, I would, I'm going to use the I'm going to use the visual code editor. So if I uh, do code dot, it will open a visual code editor on that directory. And here I can actually uh, create a new file and I'm going to name it app.js. Now, whatever we did before, we can do it here inside uh, a JS file. Uh, so we can uh, create a variable, uh, let x equal to one. Uh, let y equal to 2 and then I can say if I want to print on the console I have to say console log x plus uh, y if I want to print the whole thing I would have to use uh, a template string so I would use y equal to and then inside the dollar sign I would use the template string and that should print a value of x plus y okay now if I want to run this file uh, directly from the command line I would 
first type, I would have to type node. I'm in the same directory. So I would type node and then name of the file. Since my file is already a JS file, I don't have to say .js. I can simply say uh, app and it knows what to do and it would say x plus y equal to three. Okay, now if I, if I change the value of let's say y uh, to three and save it, obviously this doesn't reflect, it run, doesn't run it again. I have to again run node uh, app again and it would print uh, the latest result. However, while you're developing, it's kind of cumbersome to do that. So what I want is uh, to run this as soon as I change here, uh, so I don't have to manually run this. So for that, uh, there is an awesome utility available called uh, Node Mount, uh, and you have to install it first. So if I go through command line, I would say uh, npm install uh, Node Mon, and I want to install it globally. What does it globally really means? Uh, which means I want this to be used by all the application from wherever, uh, whichever folder uh, I am in. Okay, uh, and we'll see how it in really installs. All right, so it, it is installed, and as you can see, it has installed inside the. Um, there is a node version, whichever version I'm using. So I'm using 10.15, right? And this is installed within the lib folder and node module. Okay, so any any version of the software I uh, install globally using npm install will be installed inside uh, that specific uh, node folder. Okay, so let's say if I switch this uh, using NVM to a different uh, node version, let's say 8.5 or something, and then install it, then uh, it would install in that uh, folder all right so now uh, we are back and let's say let's run this file again so if i want to run instead of node i would say node mon um, and the name of the file which is app.js and once i do that it would start observing it so first time it would print whatever the result is so right now the result is one plus three which is four and it, it's printing it, but it's also waiting for the change. Um, so it's basically watching it. Okay, so now let's say if I change this three to four, now it should print five, right? So as soon as I save it, it will uh, update it and it will run it again. This is very useful while, while you are developing um, so that you don't have to manually um, read on every time. All right, so that's it, that's it folks. Uh, now, the next video, we are going to learn how uh, to have access the globals in Node. So before we move forward, we need to understand the globals. And so we're going to look at it. And again, I'm going to release both videos together. So if you have this video, you will have the other video as well. And um, the link would be uh, right at, at the end of this video. And before you move to the next video, uh, uh, if you enjoy this video, please like, subscribe and provide a nice comment. Um, it will take just a second. And thank you.